CC simple wire removal was found under the keying category, and this is a very specific effect to stop motion animation. I don't have that much stop motion experience, and I don't have access to any actual stop motion photography, but the basic concept will apply to this picture of a drawing mannequin being suspended by this metal rod. With stop motion animation armatures, generally they're held up by wire supports like this to help the animator pose the puppet, and obviously those wires are removed in post-production. That's exactly what this effect is for. So if I apply it to my photo, I'm given two point controls, point A and point B. And if I move point A to where the top of that wire is and point B to the bottom, I'll zoom in nice and close so I can line that up pretty perfectly. I'm now able to go to the thickness slider and increase this until that wire just disappears like magic. Now this actually does a really decent job, especially considering this photo was not taken for stop motion animation. But what it's doing, if I zoom in nice and close and just turn this value down and back up again, you can kind of see it. What's happening is that it's creating basically a rectangle of distortion between those two points and just collapsing the pixels around it inwards to remove that wire and basically fill in the background behind it. A lot of times these puppets will be shot on a green screen so that will make it even easier to hide those wires because it's just going to fill it in with green pixels behind it. But even if it is overlapping another part of your scene, this effect is taking it out really well. So we've already looked at the point A and point B as well as the thickness controls, but let's take a look at the other options. First of all, the removal style is defaulted to displace. This is the method that it's using to bring those pixels in. So what it's doing is looking at the surrounding pixels around the wire remover, basically, and filling it in, interpolating those pixels. So it's actually generating new pixels to fill that in. But we have some other styles. Let's just go to the first one, which is fade. If I dial this thickness back and forth, you can see that it's pretty much just poking a hole through my layer. If I enable my transparency grid, you can see straight through it. So it's just making a beam basically between those two points and punching a hole in the layer. And that would work fine if you were shooting this on top of a green screen because you want to key that background out anyway. The next style is frame offset. And this is actually dependent on you using footage or an image sequence for your source. This is just a still image, so it has nothing to pull from. But what this would do is bring in pixel data from frames before and after the current frame based on this frame offset value, which is set to five, which means that it's looking five frames ahead to replace those pixels with. And the reason that would work is because let's say that this character was jumping across the frame and five frames from now that wire is no longer there but the background hasn't changed, then it's able to just use the background from five frames forward as a background plate to replace this with. So no distortion necessary, it will just use this shape as a mat for five frames ahead of this point. And you can go forward or backward in time to dial that into exactly what you want. The last style is called Displace Horizontal and that's the same as Displace Remember that's interpolating pixels, it's generating content to fill in that wire, but Displace Horizontal is doing the exact same thing, but only sampling horizontally. It's not perpendicular to the two points. So if I make this a little bit thicker, it's not going to be perpendicular to those two points. So if I were to move this around, it's always going to be interpolating horizontally only instead of based on the orientation of the wire. All right, let me move that back to where it was and change this back to Displace. And next up we have the slope property. And this is basically the softness of that removal. So let's take a look right around here and just turn the slope up and down and you can see how it's basically stretching those pixels more or less based on that value. And then finally we have mirror blend which only shows up for displace and displace horizontal. And it's basically just a property that allows you to shift around how it's replacing those pixels. So if you're seeing any kind of artifacting showing up, you can adjust this property, but generally the default value of 25 gets the job done. And that's really all there is to it. You can duplicate this because many times there will be multiple wires involved with stop motion. So I could duplicate this and align these two point controls to something else and it still preserves the original. It is a very specific effect and you use it for very specific things, but it does the job really well. But that's everything you need to know about CC Simple Wire Removal. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video. Thank you.